Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing a very little known feature of GoPro Studios and how it can really make a difference in your editing and um, especially if you're adding presets or uh, trying to do any color correction with your video clip. So what it is, it's called Split Point and it's on the top thing, so it's under Playback, 3D uh, View, External Displays. So it's hidden in somewhere that most people who are editing with the software are not going to be looking. It's not a, what it does, which is really cool, is if you come down here to this video clip, and I've got, I'm going to throw another effect on here, so I've got another line here, so it's really obvious that there's a, this clip has a lot going on. It's got a big vignette, uh, and it's got this hot filter, or the hot day filter, and you can see there's a lot of color going on, a lot of changes have been made to it here. So if you, um, just slide the split point filter from one side to the other, it actually removes that preset on this side. So the left side of it, depending on where your slider is, will be um, removed from all of the effects. And I'm seeing here it's actually leaving the, um, it leaves the, the vignetting on there. So that's kind of interesting. But what it does basically is if you're trying to do color correction, you're trying to do um, exposure changes or you're trying to change the white balance here you can change it on half of it and compare to the original whether you're actually making an improvement or you're just ruining your video. You can see here basically I've kind of ruined it but you wouldn't really have known that unless you were able to see what it was originally like. So this is a really handy feature and it's kind of um, awesome little feature but Again, it's kind of hidden in somewhere that you wouldn't normally look for something like that. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just tell you guys about it, share it with you. And um, one other thing here is make sure that as soon as you're done with it, you've slid it back all the way to the left. If you leave it on the right, you can keep editing all the video you want, but you're never actually going to see the changes you've made. So make sure that you've slid this all the way to the left and um, when you're done comparing. Guys, thanks for watching this another GoPro Tips and Tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you check out my channel, subscribe, and like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will be sure to get back to you. Until next time, thank you for watching.